The Losing Winner, a weekly review of completed design contests where we try to figure out something very important. What the hell were they thinking? Gary Simon here of designcourse.com and as always, welcome. This is episode one, the very first episode in what will become a weekly series every Friday where I hand select a few design competitions from sites like 99designs, take a look at the winners and critique them on why these designs are actually inferior to other designs submitted. The goal of this series is to help us gain a better understanding of what effective design is while also revealing the design torture known as speculative work. All right, so let's get started here. The first design we have is healthithelp.com. This is a winning design, and this person earned $299 being the winner. So the the name again, healthithelp.com. The problem with this, as we can see, is help.com seems completely separated from the health IT. So, you know, as we can see, a scaled down small version here, you can really just, it only looks like help.com is separate and you have health IT. This is a huge issue, obviously. Uh, if we take a look at some of the other designs that were submitted as a part of the same contest, you'll see that this design is definitely superior in terms of readability, at least, than the other one. It also has a lot of other factors that are make it better than the first one as well in terms of type and use of color. And the same thing here, much more easy to understand. This is submitted by a different individual. And if we compare these side by side, we can see, wow, definitely better concepts. They're more simple, easy to read. Uh, this person, maybe this person won because they submitted early on a bunch of different concepts and they also displayed a logo on different billboards. And this seems to really excite contest holders at sites like 99design. So if you could just slap them up there in real world environments, it gives you uh, a chance to win. But of course, our focus of, as good designers needs to be on providing good concepts and a focus on the concept itself. Uh, and also, listen, this is another reason why you want to avoid sites like 99designs and speculative work as a whole because you know what? The best design, the design does not win. So let's go ahead and check out the second design. Uh, if you didn't know uh, by reading the contest description, you would probably say, what does this mean? What does it say? Uh, it's Vlixit, V-L-I-X-I-T. It's very difficult to read. You have uh, a lot of gradients going on here. You have some negative space in the letters, which kind of makes it difficult to read as well. And then this, this I and this L look exactly the same. So it kind of creates for issues of clutter. Uh, this person won a total of $499. So let's continue on. This is another design that was submitted as a part of the same contest. This one's a much easier to read, Vlixit, uh, much more simplistic. Yeah, they added this uh, unnecessary background here, but in terms of design and execution, much better than the winning design. Same thing right here. This one's a lot easier to read or a little bit easier to read. Uh, if you take a look at the L in comparison to the I, you can tell there's differences here. It's also uh, a bit more of a simplistic design and just overall better execution. So if we take a look at these two designs and take a look at this, well, this guy won $499. You guys, you completely wasted your time, unfortunately. All right, let's move on. For the last one, we have D&D &D Plastics. This person who submitted this design won $299. All right, so we have a number of issues here. We have a mixing of fonts and typefaces. We have this and sign, which is very small. If you were to scale this down, it's almost indiscernible and you can't even read it. And then we have a symbol up here, which I'm not sure if that's a letter mark or what that represents. It's just kind of confusing. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the other some other designs. We have D and D plastics, very simple type. Uh, you have a letter mark up here, D and P. Now maybe you, they didn't want the P and they would rather have a D in there. Either way, it's a lot better execution. It probably would have been very simple for the contest holder just to ask them to stick with the D and D. Uh, let's go ahead and check out a second one. We have D and D plastics here, much more simple type. You can actually see the and in this one. And for the letter mark, it has relevance. It has a D and a D in the middle. It's not the most unique, however, definitely better execution in relation to the winning design as seen here. So this guy won $299. These guys completely wasted their time, unfortunately. All right, so that is it. Hopefully the moral of the story that you're gonna learn from these videos I'm gonna be putting out every week is that, hey, I don't waste your time submitting designs to speculative work and competition sites because the best winner or the best designs don't always win. And I would say, in looking at a lot of design competition sites and the ensuing results, 
that's seldom ever the case. All right, so look forward to episode two coming next week, next Friday. Let me know what you think about the show, and I'll see you later. All right, goodbye. <laughs>